The mittens testing is used to test the health of the middle ear. So another objective test in that the child doesn't need to be involved. And it's a standard part of the audiological test battery. The only issue with admittance testing is it's not reliable in infants or newborns because their ear canals are very flaccid. So what you do with admittance testing is it gives you an estimation of the external ear canal volume, documents the integrity of the eardrum, and it gives you a description of the normal versus the abnormal middle ear. We can also use for acoustic reflex testing. Now children can have normal admittance tests and they could still have significant hearing loss. In this figure you see a few different um, variations of the results you can find in your tympanogram. So your tympanogram is a, um, it's a picture of the, of the admittance which is like ease of energy flow as a function of a pressure change in the ear canal. So a probe is again put in the child's ear and it feels a bit like going on an airplane where there's some air pushed in and then there's air sucked out. And measurements of admittance or ease of energy flow are made as the air is put in and then as the air is taken out. And those are these um, peaks that you get, your responses. So an A is considered normal. An AD isn't too common. That would be flaccid. So if there was ossicular discontinuity or a breakage of the bones. AS is stiff. That's symbolic of the start of an ear infection or fluid in the ear. B is like the middle ear is completely filled with fluid and it's not moving at all. The eardrum is not moving at all. It's so stiff, it's so filled with fluid that it's having a hard time transferring sound and it's creating a conductive hearing loss. And C is what you would see with a negative middle ear pressure. So A is normal, A, S, B, or C, you might have some conductive hearing loss. B, you'll definitely have a conductive hearing loss, definitely fluid in the middle ear. This test is, you know, standard part of the audiological test battery. Sometimes kids get stressed out when they see the probe. They think that you're going to give them a shot. So it's best to get uh, your pure tone testing done or your VRA, your serial play audiometry before you would do admittance testing. You don't want to, you don't want any crying kids. You want them to stay cooperative during the full test. So this is a great test. You're going to hear the expression, they have type B timps or AS. Remember that means there's fluid in the middle ear, likely leading to a conductive hearing loss. Conductive hearing losses can be resolved on their own or with PE tubes, these ear infections. This test is great, but we can't use it on newborns. And that's why the middle ear is such a huge issue when we're doing newborn hearing screening.